Oh, what's going on, toxic gamers? Yes, sir, they're labeling us just that once again. Of course, we got this BBC Samurai situation still raging wildfires in Japan, and they're getting the Japanese government. The Japanese government is getting involved, right? But apparently something else also went down, and another game got ruined, and you're not gonna believe it, but they are saying gamers are the culprit, that gamers are at fault, that gamers are toxic, gamers are the reason why the game is failing, right? It's always us, it's always us, right? But like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, and uh-oh, put your seatbelts on guys, roll it. Just don't think Concord is gonna make Firewalk Studios any damn money. Not unless a bunch of people who wouldn't even play the game for free suddenly decide it's worth spending $40 on it. Yeah. So you're telling me there's a chance? Forty dollars? Nah, Concord. Forty dollars? Y'all think it's crazy, bro? I can go to China right now, can get it for two pennies, yo. Doesn't have a chance. What the hell? hell? Not if the numbers for this game's free beta weekend are anything to go by. Bumbaka! There we go, man. Oh man. Oh man, gamers, what are you guys doing, man? Gamers, well, what are you doing, man? Twenty-three hundred eighty-eight people were playing. This is their all-time peak, and this is when. The beta went for free and, and, and make no mistake though the reason it even have like 2300 people is because of people talking negatively about the game that's all what's going on right now people are just talking negatively about this game right modern audience more like imaginary audience there you go man there you go Why? i mean Be, uh, i guess stay happy with 528 people playing your game right now uh, yeah, they are the ones that might buy your microtransactions. Yes, they happy like that. that shit. As of the time of this recording, Firewalk is looking down the barrel of 500 players on a Sunday morning, with an overall peak of concurrent players at about 2,400 and only about 1,400 on a Saturday. I guess that the modern audience they were chasing was just a bit too busy this weekend, meaning they needed the actual gamers to step up to the plate and play their game, <laughs> but normal people seem to reject games that look oh like this. Anyhow, let's make fun of Concord, shall we? A few okay. days ago, I made the prediction that Concord was going to top out at about 10,000 concurrent players for the weekend, I figured there were people out there who would be at least morbidly curious to see if the game was okay. Clearly I was wrong though. The game looks so ugly and generic that you can't even give it away. 2400 is pretty damn pathetic. Context and perspective are important though, so let's look at a couple other games to see how awful Concord is doing in yeah. comparison. The yeah, first yeah, Descendant yeah. is the easiest comparison since it's a shooter just like Concord that just came out a couple weeks ago. As you can see, on its first day of release, they hit about 230,000 players and they peaked on their first weekend release at about 264,000 players. Oh Holy man, you know... <laughs> you know the, the Concord devs would be like, can our brother get two more players on our games? Why, why not us, man? We want the players on our games too, man. Then start making games for the gamers. Simple as that, bro. You make games for the gamers, gamers gonna be all over your game, man. You're letting you're letting activists make your games for the modern uh, modern audience, which does not exist, though. They don't exist, bro. Like they're uh, they're on Twitter, like they're beefing, bro. They're beefing. They're doing this. They're doing this. That's the modern audience you're looking for, man. Imaginary audience, brothers. Imaginary audience. Come on now, man. Shit! And now, I can hear some of you out there thinking, well, sure, the First Descendant got a lot more players, but you're comparing the beta of Concord to the full game of the First Descendant. And you know what? Fair enough. But look here, this is the Steam chart for the First Descendant's final technical test, which is essentially the beta. They got 77,000 players in September of last year and 31,000 just a couple months ago in May. Concord, in contrast, is just a pathetic title nobody cares about because the characters are ugly, purposely ugly it would seem, and yeah. the game looks generic as hell. People want to play as characters that look like this, which can be found in the First Descendant. This is something that they don't want, right? E, 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 e. Brother Ew, brother Ew. That's what they 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 did, right? The craziest thing is that now Microsoft we're hearing that Microsoft is firing their DEI department and apparently they did the other day. Yeah, oh you did you did not know that? Yeah, Microsoft is firing their DEI department, right? Like, so yeah, th this is what they like. This is what they want, right? They they surely want uh, this as well. Where is that? Where is that? Yeah, this is what they want, right? Like, they want men, 
Uh, they, they, yeah, this was apparently stunning. A man getting his ass cheeks pounded in 4K with ray tracing. They, they found that stunning and brave, but with Eve and uh, with characters like that, e, 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 we don't want that. We don't want that. So, I mean, go figure, man. The gamers are like, okay, we're not going to play your game. <laughs> of course, it's not even about, like, good-looking video game characters. The agenda that they're pushing, people had enough, right? People are fed up with it. Uh, and, and honestly, though, like, I, I did not expect Conquer to perform this poorly, though. You know, even after Suckers are making ne negative videos about it, right? I thought, like, it was gonna do decent, right? He was uh, saying, like, what, 10,000 people? Yeah, like, I was expecting it to do more than just 10,000 people, though. Like, I was not expecting it to do this poorly, especially after all the negative marketing that people are doing for it. Let's be real, like, whenever there's this many negative videos for a game, people check it out though people play it so this time it's shocking to me yeah I i'm baffled i'm i'm, I'm shocked I, I really am i wish i could say psych right now but i i genuinely am shocked to see it perform this poorly so i guess shout out to gamers man or my bad uh, like they are saying toxic gamers yeah we're toxic gamers just because we want good games right okay call us toxic gamers we're not playing your games attractive females are well attractive they pull people in but female characters that look like the love child of rosie o'donnell and jabba the hut yeah that ain't gonna bring anyone well, let's make another comparison. Here is the Steam chart for Overwatch 2, which came out last year. It peaked at about 76,000 players right when it came out, and to this day, it looks like at peak times, the game still gets over 50,000 players to play it on Steam. Concord just doesn't have a chance against these games. I mean, it isn't even a fair fight. Overwatch and the first- uh, And now, let, let's forget about the woke stuff for, for the second here. I, I think genuinely though, this game is also not good. So that's another reason for it too. Yeah, the game doesn't look that good. Ugly ass characters, people don't like that. People are fed up with the woke agenda. Yeah, all, all that fair, fair. But I think the game in general is, you know, a very generic game. Because there are games with woke crap in it that succeeded, for example, Last of Us 2. But but I get it, Last of Us 2 came out at the time when we didn't have too, much, uh, too many woke games and uh, yeah, we didn't you know so it's like people there was pushback of course but last of us is considered a masterpiece the first one right last of us 2 not so much uh the story minus the whole crap last of us 2 still a good game right like gen uh generally speaking still a good game minus the whole crap but they ultimately destroyed its story its story because of the whole crap right so there's that but outside of the story and the whole crap last of us 2 is considered very good graphically speaking gameplay wise as well and the accessibility option that it get credit where it's due let's be fair let's be rational here but this game it is uh it should have come out a game like that should have come out like 10 years ago uh, I'm not counting in the woke stuff. I'm not saying that it should have come out 10 years ago with the woke stuff. I'm just saying the game as is, it's a hero shooter kind of, right? Like, uh, and it's not even free to play. Like, it's the not gonna free. Well. Sure, you could pay to buy new skins and shit for your character, but you don't have to. Concord, on the other hand, requires the player to have faith in the game from the outset. They require you to pay $40 to buy it. And yep. if they can't get more than a couple thousand to try it out for free, I sincerely doubt they're gonna make any money on this thing. Exactly, Factoring so. in the reported budget for this game makes it even worse. It's been reported that the game cost somewhere between 50 and 150 million dollars to make oh the game. They God. were really banking on the modern oh audience being man. a huge entity that would carry them to the promised land. But too bad, so sad, Firewalk <laughs> Studios. Pandering to the woke crowd often doesn't pay off these days. There aren't enough of these bozos out there playing video games to make any money. These woke games and movies used to thrive on pretending that the numbers of the modern audience were legion and convincing Mormons yeah. to play games by using social media. But that narrative is falling apart. And and the old tricks are no longer working. People are good at sniffing out woke shit these days because diminishing returns are a real thing. You can only fool people so many times before they stop believing your crap. But I'm gonna leave it there. Looks like- Gamers are waking up. I love to see that. And, and check this out, roll it. So we have Shout an article here from- Shout out to Hypnotic, check this. Push Square. And this one I thought was really interesting because it's coming from a guy named Robert Ramsey who apparently is writing this article trying to make it seem as if people are jumping the gun, right? Everybody's jumping the gun and nobody should be looking at the Steam numbers being bad as any inclination that the game is going to be a failure even though we've seen this argument through and through time and time again. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is probably the most recent example of that where mm -hmm. they're trying to make it seem as if the Steam numbers don't matter and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the game was meant for PlayStation players, right? Quote unquote, <laughs> meant for PS players uh, and apparently that that's all that matters so let's get and at the end of that week they had to shut down the studio too man i'm just saying bro 
at the end of the night they quickly realized but at the end of the week though they had to shut down the studio i just don't understand why are these suckers oh no <laughs> Yeah, man, of course, like, there's a whole lot of drama with the Assassin's Creed as well. And the way he looked up was crazy, man. Damn, man. But, man, listen, with, with, with the Assassin's Creed situation, it's, like, insanely disrespectful to the Japanese culture, absolutely. But also to the legacy of Yasuke. You, you know what I mean, right? Like, they, they butcher his character. And he was a real person in real life, right? So, this is, this is how they're treated. And he was not gay, and they made him gay in the game as well. So, that's going on. If he was, we talked about him a million times. If he was, then makes sense, but he was not, and they still made him gay, right? So there's that. But I, I yeah, I, I guess it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Guys, we gotta voice our opinions, okay? We gotta spread awareness, and we also gotta vote with our wallets. If you want this crap to stop, guys, there is no other way around. You need to speak with your wallets, okay? I'm, I'm all about, hey, if you like it, go for it. And I'm still gonna say, yeah, Assassin's Creed, if you like this game, yeah, go for it, bro. If you like it, buy it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's your money, you do you, boo-boo. That's essentially where I'm at. But if you're somebody and you want to see change and you want good games, though, just good games, just fun games, right? Like, then you got to vote with your wallets. And, and make no mistake, it's going to get worse before it gets better because games are going to, they are in development right now. And uh, most games are in development for like two, three years minimum, right? Two, three years generally speaking for the triple a games double a as well sometimes not talking about indie games here the indie games uh they are the ones uh, the indie devs are the ones right now that are very very passionate about their craft generally speaking not everybody but generally but it's gonna get worse before it gets better because currently there are a lot of games in development that we're not gonna see come out this year m not even next year we're gonna see them we're gonna hear about them probably by the end of next year uh, or in two years from now and they're gonna end up coming out in three years from now maybe even four years five years and some of them or i should say most of them are gonna be woke yeah they're gonna be woke they're probably gonna be as bad as something like concord so we need to do the work now what i mean by this is that we need to keep voicing our opinion civilly we gotta be rational here we gotta be civil we, we gotta speak with our wallet they're already seeing the writing on the wall but they need to see that more than what they currently are right uh so this is gonna be a wake-up call and maybe just maybe in the future they're gonna stop okay but we gotta vote with our wallets but wait get into for this it. article guys from push square but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm it's like and subscribe like there's already concern over concord's player count as open beta begins concord's open beta begins today that's the 18th of july on ps5 and pc welcoming anyone and everyone into the hero shooter frame but this celebratory moment is in danger of being overshadowed by talk of the game's player count indeed the previous early access beta which ran from july 12th to july 14th reported struggled to attract a PC audience. User numbers on Steam, as per SteamDB, didn't paint the pretty picture, with the beta pulling just over 1,100 players at its peak. As you can imagine, a lot of doom and gloom has spawned from such a realization, and many are already wondering whether Concord's going to be dead on arrival once the game drops on August 23rd. Let me be clear, there's no be. need to wonder, ladies and gentlemen, Concord <laughs> is going to be dead on arrival. This game is absolutely <laughs> going to be a massive failure, and even if it has a semi-sort of decent number in the beginning, this game is yeah. going to have a terrible ending to its honeymoon phase, where a lot of people are going to leave it and it's going to be a barren wasteland. Yep. However, here's the best part. While there's no denying that the Steam numbers are somewhat concerning, we do think detractors are uh, jumping- Okay, wait for it. Man, th this is the best part. This is the best part, bro. Like, it's coming. We gotta do it, okay? Guys, you wanna hear some hip-hop music? You wanna hear some hip-hop music? Damn, man. They're really, really stereotyping my black homies like that, bruh. Like, they're being racist towards my black homies. They're being ultra racist towards uh, the Japanese homies, using LGBT people as shields, using black people as shields. They're going crazy. Check this. Damn. And here comes the best part. They were going to kill me. Thank you. There's another. Up the road toward the castle. A corrupt samurai named Fujioka. Protector turned to persecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. Not a <laughs> breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. Oh my god, bro. No way. Oh my god, bro. Damn. Holy crap. He lifting them up like that, bro. He's a walking tank. Holy crap. Alright, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Pumping the gun. Yes, detractors. After all, we don't know how well the early access beta performed on PS. They called us detractors? Wait, what? 
Xbox are jumping the gun. Yes, detractors. After all, we don't know how well the early access beta performed on PS5. And there's a simple fact that getting into said beta required a pre-order on the platform of your choice. Now, two things, okay? Number one. Yes, we don't know how well it fared on PlayStation. You want to know why we don't know how well it fared? It's because PlayStation, just like Xbox, aside from PC, Steam obviously has different uh, analytics. PlayStation has decided that they're not going to be transparent with their numbers. They're not mm. going to be transparent with their player base. They're not going to be transparent with the information such as that that would allow us to determine whether or not a game is successful or not because they don't want investors to get upset. They don't yep. want investors to get scared. They want to sell the story to the investors that this game is a massive win. They'll talk about... If it was a massive win, they would have been sucking everybody's D. They would be shilling for the game. They would be creaming. Uh, they would be buttering everybody toast. Yeah, that was the 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 the, the thing that I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have been buttering their investor toast, uh, right? And then how all this happens, right? With Hell Drivers too. Yeah, they were going crazy. They were going crazy because the the game numbers were actually insane. Right now, the game is slowing down. Uh, and the reason is because like people are getting tired of that game you know there's not enough content and that's that's what it is uh, so even though the game was loved and i believe like people still like that game but there isn't much to do in that game now so people are slowly but surely are like okay we're not necessarily gonna play that much so yeah it's seeing that decline every game see that decline which is normal but it's a live service game so uh, they, they just gotta push out more content and people are gonna come back right so that's where it's at but with Helldivers 2, the game, from what I heard, I never really played it because it, uh, I was not, and I'm still not the target audience, so I'll just keep it real with you guys, so there's that. But generally speaking, and from what I've seen all across the board, people love that game. People love that game. Uh, it was unique also, and they also said no to the, the politics. Uh, it didn't even have any real-world politics either. It didn't have, like, the woke politics all around was a very fun game is what i got from everybody then later on in discord some community managers went in the direction of woke but i don't think that is what killed the game or that is what uh, that or that, that is why the reason or i don't think that's the reason for why we're seeing the numbers decline it's simply just lack of content but you see they were going crazy with that with that and they were like hey man look at hell divers too man game is killing it game is killing it but what I don't understand about Sony is that, of course, we had that drama with Helldivers 2 where they also made it so you have to have PlayStation Plus even on the PC to play. Like, what? You suck us crazy? Yeah, we had that drama and later on they actually removed that part, but the game was banned in like, what, 170 some countries? And if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, I have not looked into it, but the last time I checked, it was still banned in 170 countries. Meaning that if you don't have PlayStation, and you are in those said countries, and you play on PC, you cannot play the game. And I believe even if you have PlayStation, because PlayStation Network is not uh, in all the, the, the countries, right? So that's the most insane part to me. Sony tried to kill their own game like what the actual hell like you guys are this retarded like you feel what i'm saying right like they banned their own game in other countries essentially they were like playstation plus and they removed that after people complained about it right but this the, the game was still banned or the still the game is still like unplayable in many countries that have uh no access to playstation network so i would never understand decisions like that I don't think that's what killed the game, but that was probably a factor. And if the game is banned in like 170 countries, I mean, duh. Of course, it's going to see numbers decline. Of course, though, you know. But generally speaking, it was available in Europe and North America. So, yeah, but, but still, like, there are a lot of other people. There are billions of people in other countries as well, collectively, of course. But but yeah, and now uh, we're seeing this Concord about uh, pre-order numbers. They'll talk about anything under the sun, active user count, whatever. They'll talk about all that. But at the end of the day, they don't want to actually be transparent. The lack of transparency is usually enough to know that a game is a massive failure, right? Because if a game is successful, they will absolutely put the numbers out there. Look at all the games that have sold massively, right? Think about Hogwarts Legacy. They couldn't yeah. wait to tell you the numbers, right? PlayStation couldn't wait to tell I believe Hogwarts Legacy did some 10 million players, uh, 10 million sales so quick that they put, out, put that out. And uh, I remember that part because I seen them actually say that it sold even more than that now for sure. But I remember it, it did 10 million real quick. And they were like, yay, look at us, 10 million, 10 million. Yeah, of course, they always celebrate their wins, man. They always celebrate their, win their wins. And it's good to celebrate your wins, but calling out your audience de detractors, toxic, problematic, just because 
gamers, toxic gamers, just because gamers are saying no to your bull squash, that's just insane to me. Make better games. Gamers gonna love your games like no one ever loved your game ever, okay? Simple as that. Gamers gonna give your game 10 out of 10, even when it's not. That, yeah, gamers gonna give it 20 out of 10, though. Gamers gonna be all over your game. Just make a good game, man. Just make a game. Just let gamers make games. Stop with the, uh, Stop letting activists make your games and stop pushing out crap. Just make good games. Simple as that, man. Simple. But guys, check out this video on the screen because recently we had a lot of drama with this man coming out right now. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys actually got to see it or not. Whole lot of shenanigans going around, man. Check out this video on the screen. If you have not, uh, if you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left.